Signor Grifini, Presidente, amici dei bambini. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. Ultimele remarce alle rappresentanti dei Commissioni europee. I don't want to draw attention to the final remarks of the representative of the European Commission because I think they are bordering on the offensive. I would like to base what I say on uh, the legal basis and the European legal basis for adoption of children from Romania. Why has Romania become uh, such a model example in this area? In 1992, Romania was exporting over 3 million children per year. So uh, a huge percentage of uh, the number of children born every year between 1997 and 2001. And I'm not talking here about missing children, about children who have disappeared, who are not registered at all. But uh, during this period, Romania granted 9,003 hundred children for adoption. That is a tragedy and it is shameful. It is a disgrace in the history of my country. And in this committee I would like to take this opportunity to thank Brussels and thank the European Parliament for helping us to get rid of this scourge. Because as of nineteen ninety seven, in a systematic way, the European Commission raised the problem of uh, international adoptions and corruption in this area systematically as uh, an item on the agenda in negotiations between Romania and the European Union. And the Commission even went to the Minister where thousands of files got lost in the Ministry and in which uh, Interpol and Europol had to get involved. Even the judicial authorities were corrupt because money was paid so that these children's adoption files would not be properly investigated. Things went to court because the judicial authorities were where the decision was made as to which children would be adopted abroad or not. And the European Union said, enough is enough. This has to be stopped. And this was quite clear in 1999. And I quote here from a Commission report. Repeatedly requested by the Commission gives the priority to child protection. It was not Romania and nor the Romanian government, but the European Commission to impose this issue. Sorry for switching from Romanian to English from time to time. Această poziție s-a regăsit permanent în toate progress report și toate... And we see this position repeated in all of the progress reports and all of the reports adopted by the European Parliament up to the point... Um, at which Romania became a member of the European Union. And the most important declaration was the press statement of the European Commission. I would like to remind the European Commission representative that she should perhaps take the trouble to read the Commission documentation on the subject. Its monitoring report on Romania published in October 2005 that the new legislation of children's right and adoption which entered into force on January 2004 I quote exactly, it's fully in line with the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child and the European Convention on Human Rights and completes the reform of child protection. Similar to the practice in EU member states, inter-country adoption is not long, longer foreseen, foreseen as a child protection measure. The European Commission sees no need for change of legislation. Distinct representants of the Parliament of the European Union. Romania... Colleagues, we are being told here that Romania is not respecting European legislation and standards. And in order to avoid any 
divergence. At that time, the enlargement commissioner and later on the vice president of the European Commission, an independent panel on family law experts has been established. Ce spune în final acest document pe care l-ați circulat toți? Se găsește. And what does this document say, a document which all of you have seen, which is there in the Commission's database and which you can study? In this document, it says that Romanian legislation fully complies with European standards, and there is something else that I should mention. Need to become legally more difficult, exceptional, and truly a measure of last resort. Acest lucru s-a întâmplat datorită Comisiei Europene și Parlamentului. And that happened thanks to the European Commission and the European Parliament. And it is my moral duty here to say... She was a liberal, not a socialist, but she did all this for Romania and for the Romanian children. Could we now reject everything which was done by the European Commission or by the European Parliament in designing in the implementing, assisting in human resources, technical and legal expertise, and financial ex uh, assistance too. And now to say it's time to reopen the international adoptions. My note, in Romania a fost un scandal. I will conclude. In 4 February 2004, Moreover, in Romania, there was a scandal. On the 4th of February 2004, there was a huge scandal in the media. The mayor of Bucharest at the time, who was a, a liberal socialist and who is now the president of Romania and an EPP member, published a complete list because, in fact, that there had been huge international pressure applied, and the Nastase government at the time had accepted a number of uh, international adoptions, which were exceptions to the moratorium. And this has been confirmed by the European Commission. The Prime Minister of France, José María Aznar, the Prime Minister of Spain, then uh, Romano Prodi, the President of the European Commission, and Berlusconi, yes indeed, the Prime Minister of Italy, in the summer of 2003, he have sent a letter to the Prime Minister as, uh, Nastase asking urgently to release the international moratorium on, inter on child international adoption. Tocmai pentru a preveni aceste tragedii, tocmai pentru ca valorile europene and the, it was precisely to prevent this tragedy and to defend the European values in that country because the European Union has never amended the proposals which I mentioned. No European Parliament report or resolution has amended in any way, shape or fashion to date, as far as I know. But based uh, according to what the Commission representatives is saying, in any case, colleagues, I would like to call on you to close this petition because it is not justified. Our committee has uh, closed several peti petitions on adoptions from Romania, so there is a precedent here. And I would like to ask you to give the floor to somebody who during this terrible period in Romania where children disappeared, where people were used for organ trafficking, where because you have children who fell prey to international uh, traffickers and criminals. We have here Mrs. Rui Post, who was a representative in Romania for child protection. She's here. Published recently a book. Romania for export only. It's a dramatic and sometimes unconvenient truth to quote from Al Gore, but it's a x rail about the realities Romania faced all this tragic decade. Thank you so much, Honorable Presidente. Grazie. Merci.